Hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day. Today what I'm going to make for you is my tater tot breakfast skillet. So first you want to start off with a skillet and you want to spray it even if it is non-stick because sometimes they still tend to stick a little bit with eggs. So first you're going to start off with six to eight beaten eggs. Okay. And you want the skillet to be a little warm, but you don't want to overdo it because eggs tend to quick. They cook really quick and they can burn fast. So you want to make sure that the skillet is up enough once you add the eggs so that they will start cooking. Next, you want to add your veggies. Now, I steam my veggies a little bit because I don't like my veggies hard in my omelet. Some people do. They prefer a more crunchy veggie. And so by my by all means, personal choice, if that's what you would like, you can definitely do so. Next, you add chopped ham or bacon, whichever one you prefer. And this is about a cup. And then you want to stir it around a little bit. Eggs, they start to cook very quickly. So you want to make sure to jump in there and start stirring. You don't want one area to start cooking and the other not be done. So you want to make sure they cook evenly. So you want to get in there and start stirring. Okay. And then you will want to season your omelet with about a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay? Because you want your omelet to have seasoning to it. Then you want to just keep stirring it until it cooks until it gets to the consistency you want done you know with eggs you have to make sure they're properly done though because you don't want to get sick you have to make sure that you cook eggs thoroughly to make sure you don't get a belly ache you don't want a tummy ache so make sure you're cooking your eggs thoroughly okay And by this being a non-stick skillet, you can use, you can totally find to use this rubber spatula to make your skillet omelet. And it won't cause scratches in your skillet. You know, and then you want to cook till just done because you also don't want your omelet to overcook and be dried out. Who wants a dried out omelet? Nothing worse Okay, and so for the most part, that's just about done. So now I want to add a third cup of cheese. And this is a Kobe cheddar mixture that I have, but you cooking is versatile. You can totally use whatever cheese you prefer. And shredded is the, shredded is the easiest to use. So once you got your cheese all melted, your omelet is ready, basically. So then you want to start in with your tater tots. And you just want to break up already cooked tater tots. Cook these in the oven around 400 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook the tater tots either, either and have them too hard or whatever. But it's up to you. Some people like a more crunchy or crispier tater tot. But me personally, I don't like mine really hard. I like a nice, soft tater tot. A little crisp on the outside, but yet soft in the middle. And 
And there you have it. My tater tot breakfast skillet. Very easy. And you, my friends, are now ready to eat. So till the next time, my Ava J foodies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.